Hello everyone and welcome back to our resource centre where today we're going to cover everything you need to know about the petrol cutoff saw. Now just a reminder all of WHC Hire's equipment is fully tested and serviced before it's dispatched so when you receive your equipment it is in perfect working order. Documentation of these machines are kept at WHC including the vibration output readings. If you re require any of this information for your business then please speak to one of our friendly advisors today. To start with we're going to go over the components of the machine starting with the disc guard then we've got our water suppression system which comes down from the front and is attached down the bottom of the saw here. Then we've got our handle our pull cord to start the machine, our fuel tank, our air filter, our start switch at the top, our throttle lock, then we've got our primer and our choke system. Now before moving on to fitting the blade, we need to ensure that we have the correct personal protection equipment to get started. You are going to require safety gloves, goggles, ear protection, face mask, safety boots, and we always advise that you wear long sleeve garments to protect yourself from any flying debris. Now we've got our personal protection equipment, we're ready now to fit the blade correctly. To do so, you're going to need to use the spanner that is provided and either a locking pin or a screwdriver to assist you in stopping the flange from spinning. So the first thing we need to do is lock that flange. So we're going to take our locking pin and we're going to go on the outside of the machine into this position here, which will securely lock the flange in place. We're now able to unlock the flange and the locking pin, removing the one side of the flange with the locking pin. Now ensure that you pop your disc on to your petrol cut off saw the correct way, which is indicated by the arrow that's on the blade itself. Pop that straight on and it will sit nicely onto the machine. And then secure the flange back on correctly. And using our spanner that's provided, we can safely tighten the blade successfully. Once the blade is on, nice and tight, you can remove the locking pin and you have now successfully attached your cutting blade. Now you've got your PPE in place, we're ready to connect the water suppression system and get ready to start the machine. Pressurised water bottles such as the ones shown on screen right now can also be hired from WHC. Alternatively, you can attach a hose pipe to the machine directly. To begin the startup sequence, we need to ensure that the machine is in the correct start position. To begin, grasp the throttle lock and pull the start button towards you and release. You'll see and you'll feel that the throttle will lock into the start position. Following this, we need to prime the engine. So we're going to go around to our little bubble and we're going to prime the engine five times. Once you've done that, we need to ensure that the choke is in the starting position, which will be all the way to the left-hand side. And now the machine is ready to start. Place the machine in between your legs and give the pull cord a good tug. You may require to do this a couple of times to get the machine started. Now, once the machine is running, you can disengage the choke and engage it into tick over mode by pushing the throttle once. Now when you finish with the machine, all you need to do is turn off your suppression system by engaging the valve and pushing the start button forward into the off position. This will completely cut the engine of the machine. So by now you should have a really good idea of all the components of the machine, how to change the blade 
and also how to correctly start it. Before you get out there and start your projects, you're gonna need to know the correct fuel that goes in these machines, which is a mixture of petrol and oil we call two-stroke. The oil can be obtained from any local WHC hire depot, and if you're unsure of the ratio that is required, then please refer to the operator's manual or speak to one of our advisors at WHC. And there you go, guys. That is a complete walkthrough of how to use one of our petrol cutoff saws here at WHC Hire. Now, if at any point you come into any issues whilst using this machine, do get in contact with your local depot as soon as possible so we can get you sorted and your machinery up and running. Thank you ever so much for joining me. And until the next tutorial video, take care and bye-bye.